For class today, you're just gonna want, dumb, want the one dumbbell. For our first move, you're gonna be doing a half kneeling wood chop. So that lead leg is where we're gonna start at the top. And then you're just coming here and going straight down to those obliques. So a little aggressive, a little swift as you drive that dumbbell down to the side. And then halfway through, we'll switch the legs. And then we'll switch, obviously, that arm direction again. Every leg is in the front. You start at the top on that side and then drive down towards those obliques at that hip. Our next move after that is going to be a straight leg lift crunch. So what that means is you're just going to leave your legs lifted up above you, keeping them straight. And you're just crunching those fingertips up to those toes. So we're here, arm straight up, just constantly crunching, reaching for those toes, those ankles, however high you can get those fingertips. And then your last two moves are the same. We're just going to split it up equal time for the right and the left. You are going to make a figure four with your legs. So left leg straight out. That right ankle is going to rest just above your left knee. And you can support that lower lumbar if you need it. But you're going to lie flat. You're going to use that bent leg as a resistance or as a weight to control how fast and how slow that straight leg gets raised up and lowered down. So. We'll split it equal time from the right and the left side, and then we'll start back over again with that half kneeling wood chop. So we never leave the ground today, so that's pretty cool. Half kneeling wood chop, 30 seconds, round one. Whatever side you want to start with, one leg forward, other knee down. Ready, set, go. A little aggressive on that swing, like you're chopping down a tree and sending that weight off to your obliques. And switch. Three, two, one. Good. Straight leg lift and crunch. Three, two, one, lift them up and crunch. For this one, since it's a constant crunch and reach up, if you need a break, try to keep your lower abdominals activated by keeping your legs up, but just grab the back of your knees or the back of your thighs if you need that little break, and then get back to that crunch. If you absolutely need to, then bend the knees and lay your head and neck down on the ground, and then get right back into it after you're ready to go again. Four, three, two, one. One, very good. All right, left leg down, right leg across the left. Again, you can support that lower lumbar. That's just putting the tops of the hands right on those sits bones. Three, two, one. Lift and lower. On the lift, really push that right ankle into that left thigh. And then relax it, but slow down that lowering phase of that left leg. So let that right leg be really heavy as we lift it up. And then let that left leg be really heavy as you lower down. Three, two, one. Good. Little breather. Now we're just going to switch. So go ahead and put that left leg on top of your right so you know which side we're starting with. Four, three, two, one, same thing, other side. If this move feels too easy. You are not working against yourself hard enough. Really drive that left ankle into your right quad and really slow down that lowering of both legs. Three. Two, one, very good. Half kneeling wood chop, round two, 45 seconds for everything. Nice, swift, quick motion. Drive that weight to that glute. Ready, set, go. Stabilize that base, so the only thing moving is our obliques and our arms. Legs are staying stationary. So plant that knee and plant that heel into the ground. Three, two, 
One, switch. Three, two, one, straight leg lift crunches. If it was too much last round to hold those legs up, then you can have bent legs and you're still having those arms up and you're still reaching. It's just less pressure on your lower abdomen. Three, two, one, begin. Or maybe it caused too much stress on your head and neck, but you can keep those legs up, hands behind the head. Use them for support. Don't use them to push you up into that crunch. As always, if you need that rest, just lay it down. Let the legs come down, get a deep breath, and then right back at it. Constant crunches for 45 seconds can be a lot. For some people, that's okay. Three, two, one. Good job. Left leg straight down. Right leg crossed over the left. Lower lumbar support if you need it. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Very good. We'll go ahead and switch. Left will go on top of right. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Bring it back up. Half kneeling wood chops. Three, two, one. Go. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, straight leg lift crunch. Four, three, Two, one, go. Ten seconds left. Three. Two, one, very good. We got that figure four. Left leg straight, right leg on top. 
Lower lumbar support if you need it. Three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. Good, we'll do the other side. Next up is round four. You get to pick what you wanna do for a minute. If you pick the half kneeling wood chops or these figure four lifts, I'll let you know when we're halfway and you'll switch sides. Otherwise, you've got the straight leg lift crunch. Ready, set, go. Figure four with our right leg straight, left leg on top. Really let that leg elevate right above the ground. Feel those lower abdominals struggle, but they're working. Three, two, one. Here we go, 15 second break. Figure out what you wanna do. Again, I'll let you know when we're halfway. Wood chops, figure four lifts, or straight leg lift crunch. Three, two, one, go. Almost halfway. Three, two, one. Halfway, switch if you need to. Otherwise, straight leg lift, crunch. You keep going. Use those modifiers. Rest your head and neck if you need to, or put those hands behind the head and neck for the extra support. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Have a good day.